What's going on guys, it's SJ Sports, welcome your faces back to a brand new video, as you can see we're back on FIFA 19, and we're on that with career mode, which only means one thing, Youth Academy Regions, this is episode number 26, thank you for all your continued support across the channel recently, it's been amazing, and well, uploads haven't been as daily as what I would have liked, um, I've taken on more hours at work and stuff, so my job now, I'm doing 42 hours a week, sometimes more, I just finished literally yesterday, I did a 50 hour week, so um, that's why the uploads was a bit all over the place last time, so you make sure you do have those notifications turned on boys, so you don't miss a single episode, so for each first time around here boys, remember, hit that subscribe button, ding dong the notification bell, which we just spoke about, and also leave a like on the video, that would be absolutely fantastic, as you've probably just seen then, Habert did get the player of the month award for August, Fully, fully deserved. Scored some great goals along in, uh, in this month. Four goals this season. Joint top goal scorer in the league. But Haber has come on leaps and bounds. And he's kind of um, fulfilled the role of Jackson in terms of goals at the minute. We sit in third position. One point behind Rochdale who are top of the table. Um, but I'm happy as long as we go up automatically. Then that is a very, very successful season. Let's get on with today's episode. So, we've got a chance for offer then for Ed Moore. Then uh, the value of him is £120,000. Um, is it Rochdale that's coming for him? Um, but we're going to actually. Is it Rochdale? Yeah, Rochdale want him, so we're going to accept that offer. So, just say, renew. We have just received news that Dragon Brankovic is wanting to cancel his contract in the Youth Academy. So, let's go over, uh, make sure we don't miss out on this play here. Let's take a look at him. Uh, so it was Brankovic then. I was on him then, literally. He's a cam. Uh, overall 57, value £200,000. Potential 73 to 87. He is 17 years old. I am going to promote him to the senior side just because he looks an absolute brilliant player. Speaking of brilliant players, this guy here, he looks a very good player here. 62 already on the overall. Looking nice indeed. We're going to leave him for the time being. So then a quick look at Brankovic then. The Croatian, 57 overall. As you can see, 5-star skill moves, 3-star weak foot. His preferred foot is left. He's 6 foot tall, medium, medium. Medium attacking and uh, defensive work rate is pretty decent. Uh, he can play centre midfield as well, which we probably would play him. Uh, physical stats, his sprint speed, his jumping is quite good. His acceleration is not too bad neither. His strength could do a bit of work on at 60. And the rest of the stats here, we need, well, this guy has got potential, but we'll have to see how he fares up. Uh, we don't get a status because his overall is 57, so I would like to see what he's going to be about when he does reach this, uh, when he does reach overall of 60. So the first game of the episode, then, it is against Greensby Town at home. Stein 11 is Neves in goal. Unchinger, Jill, Lee, Cook are our back four. Uh, Van der Linden, Lorenzo Van der Linden in the CDM position. Jackson and Haber, Dupont, Colombo and Gallo up front. Let's go, boys. So here we go, then. We do get this game off and underway. Haber receiving his first touches of the game. The new man of the player of the month uh, for August. And my word is he had a fantastic month last month. Let's hope he does progress into having a better, even better month this month. Well done by Lunchinger. Finds Gallows. We're on the front foot straight away. Ball's put into the box. It's Haber that's arriving on the diving header. And it's hacked away by Greensby Town. A good start. Lorenzo van der Linden winning the header really well. We'll find Jackson. Good, good dribbling skills by Jackson. Here is Haber. Haber looking at a turn, looking at a shoot. He gets that one wrong and it goes over the bar. He wasn't really composed. He wasn't really relaxed. He was kind of off balance. And his shot explains everything. Gone over the bar. Poor. Free kick to Greensby in a dangerous position, played into towards a penalty spot, it's headed away by Van der Linden, it's only not probably clear, Gallo should get it rid of it, only as far as Rose, keeping the attack alive for Greensby, they've worked it out wide towards Wolford, Wolford looking to put it into the box, plays it back to his teammate, laid off towards Thomas, this is good football, this by Greensby, and there's a chance here, short, great save by Neves, and Lunching is there on a booking to clear, and Jackson, we can't clear our lines, Jackson can't clear it neither, here's Heston Tyler, up towards Rose, it's a good bit of spell, well done by Haber, but the attack's only over for a brief moment as a shot, and Neves will definitely make the good save then, Jack oh, what's Jackson doing there, Lee with an important sliding challenge, we're all over at the back then, and it was good play by Greensby Town, here's Haber, in towards Colombo, Colombo's seen Jackson in space, he's found him, will Jackson get on the end of it, oh, he's so unlucky, we get the lucky break, here is Gallo, makes no mistake, and we get the look that we needed, it was a good ball in towards Jackson. He would have got on the end of it, but for the defender's outstretched leg, it took a deflection off Jackson into the path of Gallo. And that's the man you want in those particular positions to slot home. As you can see there, we did get the look there. A lot of luck involved. But you create your own luck in football. A good confidence side. But we are. And it's a great finish across the keeper. And we're 1-0 up. 
Launching is in well, 20 step Gallo laid in towards Habba. Habba with a few nice little uh, ball over the top, looking towards Dupont into his path. Colombo get inside, make it make itself available. Dupont then just going to keep it alive. There's no one really supporting him. Here is Van der Linden though, laid off. Jackson! And it's a good strike and it's straight to McCo McOwen. The goalkeeper for Grimsby Town made him work on target. Wolf are trying to play it through. Lunchinger's got work to do. It's Thomas Peets and he's got to be careful with his challenges as Lunchinger because he's on a yellow card. And the ball's played in. Neves won't come and it's headed behind by Cook out for a corner kick. The game's first corner kick is at the hands of Grimsby, well, at the feet of Grimsby Town. In it goes. Headed away by Jill. Another corner for Greensby then. Jackson's in watching that near post position there. As the ball swung in. It's cleared away. And then Dupont might get on the end of this wearing the number seven shirt. Here he goes. Oh, he ran into traffic and he wouldn't turn for some reason. It was weird. Now Thomas laid off. Whitehouse. Greensby doing okay so far. Here is Rose. They're having good spells in this game. And I don't like that, that fact. Dixon. Well done by uh, Gallo, he's won it well. And Jackson then will just look to launch the ball forward towards Colombo. And he will try his hardest to win the header and Habak can't get onto the end of it. Gallo. Here is Habba. Finds Jackson into space. Jackson then a few twisting, turning. Laid off towards Habba. Here is uh, Colombo. Oh, Colombo needs to be stronger there as Whitmore comes in with a challenge. Here's Rose, here's Thomas. Laid off Essen Tyler Thomas again. Jill's in there. Habba comes in and it's beaten to it. And Whitehouse is to there to put Greensby back on level turns. It's the captain, Whitehouse, who has done the damage. And ah, oh, it's so frustrating. We've been we have been very, very sloppy in this game. I'm not gonna lie. It's very un very unlike us to be very sloppy. Uh, the ball the cross coming, it was blocked. Habba couldn't reach it. Whitehouse gets there, smashes it into the roof of the net, past Neves. And it's 1-0. It's probably what Greensby Town do deserve. Here come Greensby. Oh, great strike. And it's a great save by Neves. And Greensby are looking to get in front just before that half-time whistle blows. The squad late, or, late on already in this half. Headed away by Van der Linden. Dupont. Oh, it's a good ball, but would have been a break in with Colombo. But the referee does bring proceedings to an end in that first 45 minutes. Trammy Rovers are very lucky to be in this side. One positive... Van der Linden up towards Habba, got a bit of space to work into Habba, out towards Dupont, Dupont then into the feet of Colombo, Colombo then sees Jackson in space, here he is Jackson, oh he's closed down, he's been man mark this game, they have definitely singled out Jackson to be the danger man and they've done a great job on him, Van der Linden up towards Colombo, this is more like the Tramier Rovers that we've seen this season so far, Chris good passing movement, now looking a good ball up towards Colombo and towards Jackson, again they're closing Jackson down really well, Whitmore's there to clear, Gallo's in well, he's done exceptionally well. Gallo then, can he get around his marker? That's, ooh, maybe a half-hearted appeal for a penalty shout then. But the referee says no on Gallo. He got round the outside of uh, Tramia, and I said then Grinsby. And the referee says get up and get on with it. And now Grinsby are on the counter, and it's a lovely very through ball. Lee's got work to do, he's played to the back post. Lunchinger's there to intercept. Jackson is there to pick up the pieces and come away with the ball, now Colombo finds it at his feet, laid off towards Haber, and Haber's got space to run into, here he goes Haber, he's got Dupont, he slid it through, lovely, here is Dupont then, Dupont across the keeper, it might get turned in by Colombo, he's cleared away by the goal scorer for Greensby Whitehouse, and he goes out for a throw-in, so we make our first change then, it's Navarrete coming on for Haber, just to try to get some height, some more fresh legs and some strength in midfield. Well done by Gallo. It's a good ball in. Speaking of height, it's, oh, it's a good ball into the box. He's missed everyone and it's cleared away by Greensby Town. We have got the ascendancy in this tie now. We are doing a lot better as Dupont doesn't quite manage to bring the ball down. A challenge from behind could have been deemed as a free kick. Well done by Cook. Great positioning up towards Colombo. Colombo saw Jackson's got space. Jackson then looks to feed it through towards Gallo. He's asked too much of him. It's laid back to the keeper and it's cleared away. His Dixon flag, uh, flag stayed down, appeals for offside, Mounty will pick it up, laid off the edge of the box, it's Essen Tyler shot, took a deflection, made it difficult for Neves, outstretched left hand, probably would have gone wide, better to be safe than sorry. No corner kick and it goes, Neves has come for this, oh he's missed it completely, Lee stabs it away, Gallo's there, we look to clear, and it's oh, poor goalkeeping by Neves then coming for it, shot, very weak and it's gone behind for a goal kick, it has to be said, it is a let off. Frank van der Linden's on and he's been absolutely done there by the Grimsby Town man. Laid off. Cook will play in. Thomas with a header over Neves. 2-1 Grimsby. Oh my God. Not what we wanted, boys. Not what we wanted. Give, us, give over giving us the shush finger, mate. 
to be fair, Grimsby deserve it. We were creating not much in this game. But I don't understand why is Cook let Cook play it in there. And then Neves is beaten at his near post. It's 2-1 to Grimsby Town. Well in by van der Linden. Frank van der Linden's done well. Finds Colombo. Colombo has not really had much to do in this game as bodies pale forward. Oh, it nearly got through to Lichinger as we've gone attacking to try and get back. And this is what's going to cause us problems. Free kick to Grimsby. Ball into the box. Head here goes over. It's gone to the back. We're all still still. Neves has come. Well done. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. This is a ball towards Sandoval. Sandoval ends looking to go past his marker here. Well, he has done. Oh, it was supposed to go inside, not that far. Put him under pressure, boys. Put him under pressure. Colombo's doing that. So is Navarrete, I believe. As we are into the last two minutes of the game, we need to win this. We have done. We need to pick up the second ball. We have done. Well done by Van der Linden. Good strength. Here is uh, Sandoval. Sandoval laid off towards Navarrete. Navarrete inside the penalty box. Can he find the man in the area? He can't. It's crossed in and it's cleared away. And the referee blows a full time whistle. And it is defeat for. Tramia Rovers, uh, the first game of the episode has in, ended in defeat. Poor performance, we didn't really deserve much from that. We just couldn't get our passing game going. There was a brief spell in the second half where we did the passing, but we just couldn't find our way through. It's finished, Tramia Rovers 1, Grimsby Town 2. So a bit transfer news then, Ed Moore has agreed personal terms with Rochdale and when the transfer window opens in January, he will depart the club and go to his new club in Rochdale who are top of the league. Tavares is moaning about his uh, playtime in the team as well. We need to take a look at that because we want to keep him happy, the Brazilian. So next game of the episode, then a couple of changes to tell you guys about. Then Jensen comes back into the side. Tavares does get his start as well. We put Brankovic on the bench. Uh, I was going to play him instead of Haba, but... I was like, no, nah, I can't leave Haber out. It's Port Vale against Tramir Rovers. So it's Port Vale that will get us off and underway in this second game of the episode. And final game of the episode. We are playing on a Tuesday or a Wednesday night. I can't remember what it is. But we did have a game on Saturday and we didn't play particularly well against Greensby. Here's Jackson. Oh, it's a great ball. That's a great ball up towards Jensen. Jensen! Oh, ho, ho! What a way to introduce yourself back into the team. Jensen then with a lovely strike. With two minutes in, great ball by Jackson, through to Jensen, and he just smashes it home, past the keeper, into the back of the net. Look at that ball through from Jackson, we need more of that from him. And Jensen, one touch to save himself, and oh my lord, very ambitious strike from that far out. Had a lot of work to do, take a look at it, this angle, brilliant. Cross the ball, swerving, keeper had no chance, it's 1-0. The so ball played through towards Dodds, it's Jill that's gone to go close him down. Not doing anything silly, looking us in there well. And here is Jensen, and he's certainly in the mood today. Is Jensen maybe he's sick of being sat on the bench for, for weeks and weeks? Oh, Van der Linden, very sloppy in possession there. Here is Miller up towards Warrell. Ball play through. Easy for Neves. This is good stuff. Here is uh, Jackson. Now Van der Linden. Lorenzo Van der Linden in towards Haber. Haber then back towards Van der Linden. The playmaker Jackson now out wide right towards Jensen, who's seen a lot of the ball in his first half. Can't find the ball into the box. He might get there again. He's done well and he's won as a throw in. Well done, Jensen. Here's Tavares has come short. Haber in this position. We see what he can do from here before. Looks to go again. Oh, he's at the outside of the post. Oh, he's at the outside of the post. Let's not make a habit of doing that, boy. Pardon the punt. Just couldn't get the bend on it. Was going into the top corner. The post came to Port Vale's rescue. Here's Dodds up towards Hannett. Few uh, dummy doesn't fall lunching at early ball in. Blocked. Finds Hannett again. Back towards Quadrado. Now Montaro with the ball into the back post. Dangerous. And Warrell. Wow. Should have played it back to his guy in the middle of the pitch. Cooks down the line towards Tavares. Poffers. Not a bad first touch actually. Did look to his team to get away from him. Jackson out wide right. Here's Lunchinger. Going forward. Played up towards Columbo, helped on towards Jensen. Jensen, and can he find the man in the box? Here is, oh, it's lovely football, it's very unlucky. Tavares meets it, comes off back off the bar, gets in front of the defender, and that's so unlucky, it's so hard to defend against. Great ball in by Jensen, he's been involved in quite a lot of uh, things that have happened attacking wise for us in this first half. Neves has come here, and he will gather the ball safely. Van der Linden. Now lunching over halfway line, now Jackson. Good play by him, gets clipped by the defender, but he keeps his balance. Colombo waits for the run of Jackson, here he goes. Jackson on his left foot, took a deflection, great save. Tavares might turn it in, oh, it's another good save by the keeper. And it's cleared away by Paul Vale, and we should have doubled our lead then. Great play by Jackson, slid off towards Van der Linden. We're going to try his luck with him, and it's easy for the keeper. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I absolutely do not believe that strike. What an unbelievable goal. I didn't think there was no danger. I wasn't commentating. 
Oh, look at that. Never sh should have been getting beaten from there. Question mark about that. But it did swerve. It just swung like it. The first real proper effort from uh, Port Vale has resulted in an equaliser. What a fantastic goal. It certainly took me by surprise. That's his fifth goal in the League 2. Wow. Great finish. It's 1-1. Dodds the goal scorer. Got to close him down. Laid off again. And there's a chance. And it's a... Oh, my God. They've gone 2-1 up. Oh, they've gone 2-1 up. Two goals in five minutes for Port Vale. We'll see them going in at half-time with the lead. It's Miller this time, the number 10. Bent it round Neves into the back of the net. Mm, question marks on Neves again. Uh, no, I don't think he could do anything about that, to be fair. I'm being very, very harsh on him. Good play. First time shot. Finesse into the bottom corner. Had to get down to that. He did actually get a fingertip on it as well. And it's 2-1 Port Vale, and we have been the better side. How about Here's Colombo in towards Jackson. Jackson then feeds it through towards uh, Jensen. Jensen then cuts back his side. Jensen again. Laid off. Jackson! Yes! We've equalised. Great play by Jensen. Jackson for the first goal. It was Jackson that set up Jensen. This time it's Jensen that set up, setting up Jackson. Those two do link up well when Jensen plays. And Jensen's had a very good 45 minutes. It's been a very good 45 minutes as a neutral. Four goals in the first half. Great play by Jensen. Laid off, Jackson side foots it, past the keeper, passes it into the back of the net. It's 2-2, and we haven't had half-time yet. Well, there goes the half-time whistle. Four goals split two apiece in that first half. Fantastic first half. We should, we're a bit unlucky to be uh, to have conceded two goals in this game. Two very good strikes from Port Vale. It's 2-2 at the break. So a couple of changes to tell you guys about at half-time. Mutadi comes on, which you can see, and also Brankovic as well. And that's not a good first pass. That is terrible. I don't know what he was thinking then. It's his first touch in a Tramia Rovers player in the first team. Gives it, or kicks it out of play, gives away a throw. And we're going to put it down to nerves, though. Here's Gibbons trying to get down to the byline, playing to the back post, lunching a world head clear. Only as far as Quadrado. Oh, Van der Linden. Lorenzo Van der Linden has done well. Matari's going to make chase here. Going to give him a bit of a run out. He deserves it. He's been sat patiently on the bench. No point in having a squad of 34 players if you aren't going to rotate it when need, when necessary. Chance. Easy for Neves. Well done, lad. Oh, Jill's been sloppy there. He's give it away. And we've been a little bit sloppy in the second half. Well done by Jill, though. Makes amends. Plays up towards Matari. That's a good play. Here is Matari then. It's a good ball towards Tavares. Tavares and towards Brankovic, the Croatian. And he's going forward. Oh, that's unlucky. Well, in by Van der Linden. He's had a great game. Now Brankovic finds it towards Tavares. Up towards Mutadi. Tavares made the run ahead of him. Oh, it would have been a lovely ball through. Nice idea from Mutadi. Good defending. Here's Brankovic going forward. Laid out to the left-hand side towards Tavares. Tavares will put on the brakes. Cuts back inside. Now here is Van der Linden. Van der Linden up towards Mutade, Mutade then looking to get onto his left foot, looking to shoot, and it goes well wide of the mark. Brankovic, Jackson linking up well, now here's Brankovic again. Having a good game, he's a lad has been involved. Up towards Mutade, he's made the run ahead of him, oh Mutade can't get his pass away. And that's where Colombo does really well in those positions. You know, he doesn't score many goals on Colombo in the centre four position. He doesn't do what strikers do best in score goals. But he's, he's, Colombo is just one of them type of players that's there to, to set everything up. And that's a great another strike for Port Vale. Never is equal to it this time. We're not probably cleared our lines. Lee's gone to close Miller down, but he's got, Miller's got away from him at the minute. Lee gets back and we've won out goal kick. Well done. Jill wins it well. Here is Navarrete. Sees his first bit of ball. Make a run ahead of him, Tavares. Come on. As well, looking to go forward to get an equaliser. Here is Brankovic. Slides it through towards Mutadi. Here he is, Mutadi. Opens his body up well and his shot is blocked. And he takes the sting out of the shot. Easy for Brown. Oh, that would probably be the winner if that had gone in. Well in by Brankovic. That's a great challenge. Navaretti will pick up the ball. Here he is, Brankovic once more. Seen a lot of the ball. Had a lot of involvement. Mutadi touches a poor one, but Navaretti might get on the end of it. Very unlucky. Oh, he still might get it there. It's cleared away by Paul Vale. Who's that, sir? Brankovic in well, he's having a great game, he's the lad. He's everywhere on that pitch, he's trying to do everything he can for his teammates. Oh, Tavares has asked too much of himself there. Cooks in well, come on man, why is every pass going astray? Brankovic, well done lad. In there, with a great interception, Brankovic laid off Mutadi, lovely cheeky little flick. Mutadi will hold it, we're looking to create the space, Navarrete slid through. Here's Tavares, ball in low, Mutadi in, it's gone in. Or oh, is it Brankovic? I'm not sure, is it number 13? It is, is it? I can't see. I'm not sure, but we've, we're winning. 89th minute winner 
I think it's Mutadi that's got it. I don't know. It is. It's Mutadi. I don't know what happened with that shot. It took a deflection or something on its way through into the back of the net. A very soft goal to concede from a Port Vale point of view. It was patient. Well played by Navarretti. Slides in. Oh my God, could you imagine losing in the last minute to a goal like that, boys? What even is that finish, Musadi? Oh my days, I will be fuming. It's gone down as an own goal, it has to be. Because Navaretti, sh uh, not Navaretti, sorry, El Mutadi's shot was going miles wide. And it took a massive deflection off the defender and into the back of the net. Well, there goes a the full-time whistle, it's three points. Just by the skin of our teeth, a massive shade of luck from a Tramia Rovers point of view. And that's what happens when you're in the right areas in the table, that luck. We're riding our luck a little bit, we're doing quite well. We, 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 I think I'm putting Matadi on up front, was a mis excuse me, was a mistake, boys, um, for this game. We missed Colombo a lot in that second half and we did struggle to... Um, but he struggled to, to do things. But positive was Brankovic was outstanding in that first half. Uh, Jensen with a 9.4 rating. Brankovic got a 7.1. Um, Mutari got a 6. Van der Linden got a... Lorenzo van der Linden got a 7.4. Habay with a 7.1. Colombo 7.5. So he did a lot of work. The Colombo. Mutari came on. Uh, Tavares had a decent game as well. We did okay. Um, but yeah, I think Mutari... Uh, and he needs, he needs a lot a lot of work, boys. I think maybe we'll, we'll have to get rid of him because we do have that Brazilian guy in um, in our youth academy. I think, is it Ferreira or Ferreira? I can't remember. But we'll go take a quick look at him right now just so you guys get a, a, an idea of the guy that I'm looking at. We, we, we've got two centre-forwards. We've got three centre-forwards here. This guy, uh, Moniano from Colombia, looking good. Uh, Gandua, he's looking pretty decent as well. The Egyptian, uh, 62 overall. And this is the guy, Bruno Ferreria. Uh, Ferreria. Yeah, five foot seven striker. Um, hopefully, he can become something good. I am training him up. And also, this guy as well, Cardoso, um, looking okay. Uh, we've got Amaril as well, right winger. Uh, so, yeah, so in terms of striker position, we are lacking a little bit in terms of players from the youth academy. Um, but I will have to just go ham and train um, train these people up. So, oh, Greensby Town a second. I've just noticed that. We're in fourth place. So we did get beat to Greensby Town, who are unbeaten in the league. We have lost three games this season. Uh, we've won five. We haven't drawn a single game yet. We were very, very close to drawing against Port Vale. But that massive, massive striker fortune... Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very disappointing to say the least if you're a Port Vale fan. As a Tramier Rovers fan, you're absolutely buzzing. You tits off, aren't you? Where are Port Vale in the league? The 13th, so there would have been... Uh, they wouldn't have really moved position anyway in the league, so... Uh, but yeah, we're fourth. I'm happy with it. Greensby Town do have a game in hand. This episode is coming to an end, boys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please give the video a like, and I will see you on another video very, very soon, and goodbye.